This blended tutorial is on textures and materials. We'll start by loading up our landscape and lighthouse project. Okay, the first thing we'll want to do is texture the landscape. So select the landscape. And we want a new texture. We'll want to make it green. Maybe a little bit darker. And grass doesn't have any specular highlight. So we'll turn this to zero. We press A to deselect. Shift A to add a plane. And let's locate this plane at zero, zero, and 0.5 meters should be high enough. We'll need to change the scale. Let's rename this. Just right click and you can rename it. And we'll need to add a material for this as well. And we want the color to be bluish. And we'll want quite a bit of specular for this. You might want to dial back the intensity. Okay, to texture lighthouse, we're going to go to orthogonal view and pick any side view. We'll select the lighthouse and we'll press tab to go into edit mode. Let's deselect all the vertices and we'll turn off shading. Now we press B for rectangular select. That way we can select all the points. That's good. Go back to ortho view and uh, we'll partition this. And we'll just rename that to roof. Now we're going to select this middle section and uh, we'll do this from the top view. And again, we'll deselect all the points. We'll select the lighthouse and go back into edit mode. And this time we'll use the circular select. And you can use the scroll wheel to change the size. We'll just select all the vertices that way. Okay, we'll go back to side view. Oops, we'll hit escape and then go back to side view. And it looks like we've got all the vertices. Okay, again, we'll partition this. And we'll rename that. Uh, We'll rename that light part. And again, we'll select the lighthouse and rectangular select. And just pivot to check your vertices. Go back to Side view, and we'll partition again. 
And we'll call this the walkway. Okay, select the lighthouse again. This time we're going to texture the lighthouse. And if you don't see anything here with the texture on, it's because it's scrolled down. You now it's just scroll up. Select a new material. And then go over to the material. Select new. And we'll go to image or movie. And then scroll down and click open. And I have mine stored in my own folder. You need to go up, 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 all the way to root. And then select volumes. And from volumes, you can select the network drive. This will be on the shared folder and it will be called texture maps as well. Okay, so we're going to pick a material. Uh, I think I'm going to pick one from brick and stone. You can try whatever you like. I'm going to try this one. That looks good. And Go back to the materials. We don't want much specular on rocks. We'll just dial it back. That's good. <clears throat> and we can try rendering. So my camera's not pointing in the right space, so just give me a sec to point the camera. Another way to select the camera is just from there. Uh, go to the top view. And we'll rotate the camera about. Go to the side view. up a bit and we'll probably want to point that up a little bit. Or we can just bring it in closer. And then we'll point it up in a little bit too. And then we can press zero to go to camera view just to see what it looks like. And we need a slight adjustment. This is where to get back out. And we're going to talk to you and just tweak the camera rotation just a bit. Here we go. Go back to camera view. That's not too bad. And zero to get out of that, and we'll render. Okay, so that renders a bit. Uh, it's a little bit dark, so we need to add uh, a light source. So let's add a sun. So lamp, sun. And you want to put it high in the sky. So there. Okay, we'll try rendering again. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh, we need to modify the texture. Oops, we'll go back to the lighthouse. Just 
select the lighthouse, the material. Okay, we're back to that. So you need to play with projection to make the material look proper. Okay, so uh, the texture doesn't look quite right, so we'll need to go to image mapping. And we can change to repeat. And try to render again. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. We can increase some of the numbers and just play with it. Okay, so that's the wrong one. We will probably want to increase X more than Y. Okay, so we'll increase X again. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's do something with the roof, pick a material, new, again we probably don't want this material to be terribly shiny, oops, point two, <coughs> set the material, new, Well, we, one thing with the lighthouse, I want to use both materials. I'll try rendering again. Makes it look a little bit more 3D with both on. Okay, let's go back to the roof. Again, we'll pick an image and we'll select one. And No, try a shingle roof. Doesn't really fit, but what the heck? Okay, we probably don't want a flat projection. We want to change the projection to I'll oh, try sphere. Sphere is not quite it. Let's try tube. Yeah, that's not too bad. And let's select the walkway. New again. Point two. And our new material. Image. Tube's been working well, so let's stick with it and open. And we'll just use some plain concrete for this if we can find it. Gray pebble tiles. 
Sure, why not? Render. And then we need the camera a little bit higher for this. And go ortho view. Side and select the camera, drag it up, and we want to rotate that camera down a little bit, drag it up a little bit more. Okay, and do a test render. That's not too bad, we can see the walkway now. <clears throat> we'll just rotate it down just a touch more. Okay, the camera's a little bit off skew. We can fix that. We can rotate the It's not too bad. And okay. Now we're on the walkway. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like that. That means we need to change the repeat, or we could try sphere and render it. That's not too bad. We just need to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, that looks good. And uh, I will let you complete the rest on your own.